What are you waiting for? If you're waiting, you're already in trouble. I'll tell you what you're waiting for. If you're waiting for something, you're waiting for nothing. Because usually that's what you get if you wait. Very few good things in my life have come because I've just been sitting, waiting around for them to happen. That's not the way life is. Life rewards the person who initiates. The ability and the discipline to initiate something that you want is the first step to bringing it to you. The resources, the people, the dreams, the things that you really want in your life, they don't start moving until you start moving. The moment that you move, then you begin to attract those people, resources, ideas to you. But they don't move unless you move. And what I've also learned is the moment you stop, they stop also. I've watched people start the movement. They start coming toward them. And then they just stop. And, and when they stop, then all of a sudden they say, well, what happened? All of a sudden, no more ideas, no more people, no more resource. Here's what I know. I call it motion attraction. When you move, you attract other things that move towards you. If you want something, <laughs> Get off the bench, start walking. Everything worthwhile is uphill. You see, every dream that you've ever had, it's, it's all uphill. If you've built a wonderful business, guess what? It was uphill. If, if you've made the right decisions, they're, they're not easy, are they? It, it, it's uphill. And the only way that you can go uphill is to be intentional. Nobody ever accidentally went uphill. You've never talked to a successful person and said, how did you get to the top of the mountain? And then look at you and say, I have no idea. If they're at the top of the mountain, they know how they got there because they had to have effort. It took energy, it took time. Everything worthwhile, everything worthwhile is uphill. There is a choice you have to make in everything you do. So keep in mind that in the end, the choice you make makes you. The choices I make make me. The choices you make, make you. If you make a bad choice today, you repair tomorrow. If you make a good choice today, you prepare tomorrow for a better day. You don't want tomorrow to have a dark future for you because you haven't done your best today. Your best today sets you up for success tomorrow seize the day today because you see the tendency for all of us is to ah, kind of think that tomorrow has more promise than today today is the same day that somebody yesterday thought would be so great so you have to understand you're living in the day that somebody was saying this will be a great day for me you see the promise of tomorrow is very unfulfilling because there's nothing guaranteed about it the promise of today, it's very fulfilling because you've got it right now. It is in your hands. You can do something about now, right now. In fact, think about it. Now is all you got. You don't have anything else but now. You, yesterday's gone. It's a canceled check. Tomorrow's a promissory note. The only thing that you can cash right now is now. And so this is the day. It's all you got. Now is all you got. So take advantage of it. What have you been postponing and are thinking about doing tomorrow that you can do right now? The most rewarding thing in life is to carpe diem, seize the moment. If you don't, you lose the moment, you lose the blessing. Don't do it. Now is all you have right now. Take advantage of it.